welcome all of you <coughs> in this video lectures you will going to learn about three phase inverter three phase inverter what is inverter inverter is a convert from dc to ac inverter is convert from dc to ac where it is applicable ups uninterrupted power supply in your domestic ups is there what ups is functioning or working when power is not available already energy stored in the battery from dc energy it will going to convert into the ac single phase 230 voltage fixed frequency 50 hertz it will going to give give to the ac appliances 230 voltage 50 hertz it will going to give the ac appliances so here is a three phase inverter why do you go for that three phase inverter for your load rating is higher if your load rating is a load rating is higher then you can go for that three phase inverter so three phase inverter also do the same dc is a source it is going to convert it into the ac okay let's we go to the second content so this unit it is consist of that first major topic is a 180 degree and 120 degree modes of the operation so here is a 120 degree and 180 degree mode is the operation is there that one you want to learn in the in this video so what is 120 degree 180 degree one of the major question they will going to ask from the unit this is only so what is 120 degree what is 180 degree how it is operated how it is what is the difference between the, the, these two modes 180 and 120 like they will going to ask you very simple you will going to learn this concept at the uh, at the end of uh, before completing this video the next one is a pw jump pulse width modulation so previously you have you were seen about that a pw jump previous uh, video lecture series you learn about the pw jump pulse width modulation it is a one type of the controlling signals so carrier wave and a reference wave so carrier is a triangular wave reference is a you can use a sinusoidal or trapezoidal so like you will going to use to compare and generate the pulse width modulation this pulse width modulation you will going to control the voltage source converter okay so like about voltage control and the harmonic eliminations and the harmonics also you will going to eliminate it so you will going to this is a pulse width modulation is important so here is a single pulse uh, pulse modulation transformer connection method multi level control another one is step stepped wave like it is a classified the same what you were seen in that previous of the unit that is the same as it is pulse width modulation it is not a new topic one the next one more topic is mentioned that is called a multi level converter what is a multi level converter when you have when you are going for that one uh, it's a either 180 degree or 120 degree conduction modes you are not getting the pure sine waveform so sine waveform is a, you are not getting pure sine waveform so i need for that pure sine waveform that's why i want to go for the multi level converters if i have see the classification it is mentioned on the three classification neutral point clamped converter plying capacitor converter okay then third one is a cascade multi level converters so you will going to learn about this ones okay okay in that uh, video okay then comparison of the multi-level inverters why we will going to compare with the multi-level inverters and uh, dc voltage source across the capacitor so like in that one so you will going to know the difference between one to another okay let's we go back to that one this is a three phase inverter three phase inverter what you will going to learn in that one here so 180 degree mode conduction 120 degree mode conductions very simple i will going to tell to you please listen and then you will going to easy to understand and then you will going to write inverter means dc to ac ac is a in that one okay here i will going to give that one ac load as a three phase induction motor or whatever three phase resistive load you can use so how many leg one two three leg is there will going to connect it okay so each leg, each leg how many thyristor is connected or how many switches are connected two switches are connected for each leg 
so each leg is a two switches what is the number is okay you can leave about the diodes so you can leave it about the diodes so you can concentrate only for thyristors so totally how many thyristors six thyristors how do they represent the numbers just to look the numbers t1 t3 t5 odd numbers odd numbers on the top so easily they you will going to recall odd numbers on the top in the sequence 1 3 5 so they are given a very uh, easy to understand when you have go through in the bottom sides even numbers are given what are the even numbers uh, between uh, between 0 to 6 what are the even numbers 2 4 6 3 numbers okay here is a 2 4 6 is mentioned how do they mention 2 is here 4 is here and 6 is here so first okay uh, even uh, they will going to fill up here 2 then after that 4 6 like it is they were mentioned why it is mentioned like here, here and there here and there why instead of uh, why they don't uh, give the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 why they don't give why do they given on the two ones why do they given what is the reason behind they were given means it is a switching sequence t1 after that it, this t2 is conducting after that delay angle t3 is conducting after delay angle t4 is conducting after delay angle t5 is conducting after t5 delay angle t6 is conducting that is the reasons they are given in the uh, in the in that method switching sequence that is called switching sequence what is the angle of the switching sequence t1 after that is 60 degree after that t2 is conducted t2 60 degree after that t3 t3 after 60 degree after that t4 t4 a 60 degree after that t5 t5 60 degree after that is t6 this is a switching sequence another one is a, that a delay angle delay angle is 60 degree here yes. three phase rectifier delay angle is a 30 degree okay 30 degree in that three phase rectifier inverter is a 60 degree uh, in that okay delay angle okay here okay this is a one point then another one is a, coming to very shortest what is the difference between 180 degree mode and 120 degree mode 180 degree mode means the total six thyristor each thyristor is conducted 180 180 180 each thyristor is conducted on that period is 180 degree each thyristor conducting period is 180 degree another 180 degree not conducted okay so every thyristor conducted 180 degree 120 degree mode means every thyristor is conducted only the period of 120 degree remaining period is not conducted that's all only it is conducted at 120 degree then what is the second point is differentiations in three phase 180 degree more conductions okay at a time three thyristor it will going to on three thyristor is on three thyristor where it will going to on two from the upper one from the lower two from upper one from lower or vice versa i mean two from the lower one from upper then only the circuit is closed so uh, you have see the two diagrams so like it is there the circuit is closing so like that ones so this is one of the differentiations then what about 120 degree mode conductions only two switches are conducted one from upper one from lower so then to, then what about here yes, two phases only it will come another one is so open another phase is so open so like 120 degree mode is conducted so one from upper one from the lower so each side is step 120 degree it will going to on why do i want to go for the 120 degree mode conductions 180 degree mode conduction it has one limitations what is the limitation means when you have see here so t1 and t4 what is the difference between t1 conduction upper conduction and lower conduction means it will going to be conducted 0 to 180 degree and it will going to conducted from 180 degree to 360 degree so when it is on it is off when it is on it is off so when top is on 0 to 180 degree after that bottom is on so at a time 180 point at a point of 180 the possible of the short circuit is happen once it is short circuit it means space is a totally disclosed means the source it will going to burst so that's why it's a possible of the short circuited how to eliminate the short circuited means so i will go i am going for the 120 degree so this is a 120 degree it is conducted another 120 degree no one is conducted another one is a 120 degree i will going to conduct it so the angle is making the delay My angle is making the delay for that one okay t1 and t4 so it is a delay will come so due to the delay it not short circuit 
this is the major difference between the 180 and 120 and one more i will tell about the operation how they are operation wise it is a see that once okay how they are operate operated okay this is a mode diagram of that one total of the six mode diagrams and then they will going to fill up that uh, tabulations it's a very simplest uh, concept and fill uh, about that uh, tabulations okay so how uh, similarly for 120 degree mode also same similar methods okay equation you will go and write about the equations and draw the waveform line to line and paste to neutral waveforms so paste to neutral waveform if i have see 180 degree mode okay paste to neutral is a okay just a reverse to that uh, 120 degree mode line to line and that means the waveform of the 180 degree mode paste to neutral and uh, 120 degree mode line to line both also same both also same similarly 180 degree mode line to line waveform and then one is a paste to neutral waveform of the 120 that is both also same so what is the operation means yeah, okay uh, that is a sequence what is the sequence of operations i will tell you about that once just you can going to keep in the numbers 6 1 2 6 1 2 1 2 3 so it does it is yes you have see that once 6 where is it yeah 6 1 2 1 2 3 2 3 4 3 4 5 4 5 6 uh, 5 6 1 so like a last two digit numbers so 5 6 1 it is like it is operated if it is a 120 degree mode, degree mode means 6 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 again 6 1 so I will show you 6 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 so like about that one it's a mode also it will go to it is developed okay so in next videos we detailedly we will going to see about that one so this is a major basic difference between 180 degree and 120 degree mode so you once it is no you will going to write about the equations and the uh, waveform and the tabulation filling everything is easiest one okay the next one multi-level inverters so before you can go for that one multi-level inverter do you you want to know why do you want to go for that multi-level inverters so see that one voltage source inverter v s i voltage source inverters so voltage source inverter has that a single phase as well as three phase either two level or that a three level voltage source inverter so what is the drawback of the voltage source inverter means it has that high voltage stress it has that high voltage stress and a thd total harmonic distortion is a take place okay so uh, next one so there are two point one is a high voltage stress and a total harmonic distortion then how to reduce that uh, these two points so to reduce the thd and the voltage stress multi-level inverter topology are prepared so now you are very clear why do you go for that multi-level inverters so high voltage stress and a thd the next one so to reduce the voltage stress soft switching circuits are uh, are required soft switching circuits so dv by dt di by dt you were studied in the first unit so that type of uh, problems you are using snubber circuits similarly here is a snubber circuit type you will going to use the soft switching zero voltage current and zero zero voltage switching and zero current switching method you will going to use okay how to reduce that uh, harmonics so harmonics you will going to minimize with the help of the filters so why do you go for that one this is the reason you are going for multi-level what is the reason voltage stress another one is a thd then what are the types of that multi-level inverter flying capacitor diode clamp and cascade multi-level inverters the flying capacitor and diode clamp it has that one there are two methods in that method what happen what is the problem having high voltage stress that is also having high voltage stress is there and the additional resonant circuit are required what is high, due to the high voltage stress what you are using soft switching the soft switching is nothing but resonant circuits okay so this is also problem then you can go for that a cascade multi-level inverter okay if when you have go for the cascade multi-level inverters so it when you have go for that one so what it is there so record more number of the power switches and drive circuits cascade cascade means series connection of the multi-level inverters so when you have go for that one that limitation is a more number of the power switches is needed to obtain the nominal voltage and additional dc sources and the magnetic components like transformer are required so this is also it will going to use to obtain the nominal voltage 
an additional DC sources and a magnetic component like transformer are required. So this is a one of the difficulties in the cascade multi-level inverter. Why do you go? This is a flying capacitor and the diode clamp it has that high voltage stress and due to that one is additional resonant circuit or soft switching is used. So that's why you are going for that multi-level inverters. Multi-level inverter also what happened? More number of switches are using and then due to that one driver circuit is needed. Another one is it is a additional DC source is needed and then a magnetic component is needed. So further they will going to develop the research opportunities in that one boost cascade multi-level inverters. So it is required also more number of the power switches and the drive circuits and now if they went into the hybrid converters. So like that this inverter is a development. So you here up to years you should be very clearly know. So why do you go for that multi-level inverter? Okay, this slide is showing about that one. Okay, what are the benefit about the multi-level inverter? Low harmonics, high power, high voltage applications. Like you can go. And the reason you can go for the multi-level inverter. Okay, so the, there are three. Okay, three types included: cascade multi-level inverter, diode clamp, and then flying capacitors. So three type of that multi-level inverter. So in that slide, it's showing for that one. Okay, comparison. Just look on that comparison of a multi-level inverter that's all thank you